guys, you're watching Scuff TV. Today on Scuff, we take a roll down memory lane in one of the most historic skateboarding areas, Venice Beach. For part two of the epic TV series, Venice Then and Now, we find out from some of the legends of the scene like Jesse Martinez and Eric Britton on how the area coined Dogtown shaped modern day skateboarding. Venice Beach is kind of like a mecca for skateboarding. There's so much that's gone down here through the ages, from the Z-Boys to the days of the pavilion. Somewhere in the neighborhood between 60 and 70, the legitimate professionals that have come out of a two-mile stretch on flat walls and curbs. And they became some of the most legendary 80 skaters to this day. We're on a rare VIP tour of Dogtown. Guys like Jay Adams, Jesse Martinez, then Soy, some of the Dogtown guys from there, dressing, and Nadas Capas, Mark Gonzalez. They kind of brought the aggression to skateboarding. You're growing up in a violent area full of drugs and crime, and your only outlet is skateboarding, you're gonna get violent on your skateboard. You get gnarly, and you're like, I'm not only gonna grind this vert wall, I'm gonna grind this six foot tall vert wall, you know, I'm just hardcore. I think Venice brought a lot of flavor and creativity to skateboarding, and you know, it helped change the way the world looks at skateboarding. Right underground, there's some spots right here that are buried in the sand that like started skateboarding. Tell you about the pavilion. Well, this wall behind me is one of the barbecue pits that was in the pavilion. This whole thing was enclosed. It was a, pretty much a place for derelicts and homeless people to live. You know, it's kind of raw, you know, a lot of like drugs and, and graffiti and crazy stuff going on. And skateboarding and some other unsavory stuff, you know what I mean? All wrapped together. You know, growing up in this area, we utilized it. You know, it became our safe haven for skateboarding. You know, there was ledges here, there was these little roof gaps and these picnic tables that we would, you know, practice ollieing up. I'd go hang out with the soy and we'd roll up with a, a lawn tramp. All the boys would have a lawn tramp and, and just, you know, wall rides and crazy quarter pipes. So it, was, it was just crazy to see the innovation of the ollies and the tricks. Every day things were being laid down. Every day new tricks were being made because it was unwritten at that point. And all the young up and coming kids would come to Venice, you know, this was almost a proving ground, you know. And that really created this urgence of hardcore skateboarders and that were a part of the birth of street skating, which is now the most popular discipline in the world as far as skateboarding goes. In the year 2000, they finally determined they were going to tear it down, you know, when they re-renovated the beach area. So it is, man. It's gone now. You know, it's only in our memories. Venice it still has the same vibe as it was. I mean, obviously, every city changes over the years. The biggest change for me is the skate park on the beach. In 2008, they broke ground. You know, it took a long, long time and a lot of fighting. I remember when the pavilion was torn down and dudes that had came from Europe or wherever and to skate the pit and it was gone. And the look on their faces was devastating. It was like, you know, going to Mecca and the temple's gone. Now we have our temple back, so it's time to worship. So really it put the U.S. on the map as having a killer skate park on the beach. The tourists love to come and watch. They can ride the snake runs or take some runs in the bowl or hit the street or whatever. It's just, it's awesome to be able to do that for free. Big thanks to the city of Venice and all the guys that made that whole skate park happen, Jesse Martinez and all the, the, his whole crew. Thank God for this park. I think it's given a lot of kids some direction. There's a lot of kids that didn't know how to turn their skateboards before. Now there's a snake run in there and they're developing style, which goes right along with this neighborhood. It's about style.